glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I I'm so glad to be in the house of the Lord with you this morning. Would, would you mind going ahead and praying with me now, Mother God, Creator God, loving God, holy God, take this, your servant made from dust, and connect it with the raw materials of stardust to speak in this moment, to say something that brings forward the word you've placed into my heart. I accept my unworthiness for such a task as bold as this, and I seek your God guide us as you use me and speak through me. To the ancestor preachers who made sermons from hymns, moans, and groans, and spirituals from the bondage of slavery, speak now through this your descendant. To the black women locked out, being abused, tormented, raped, eradicated, and yet born a new and distant future in this country, and to a young colored boy named me, I name you now my great-grandmother Anna Ruth, my great-grandmother Flossie, my great-grandmother Everline, my great-grandmother Levine, and my grandmother Pierce and my grandmother Gwen and my own mother Kimberly to the preachers who preached before me and will now to my own daddy Jason, my Paul Paul, my granddaddy, my uncle and my auntie before me to you loving God. Father, mother, sister, brother, sibling and friend preach. If it is my voice, I promise I'll lose it for you. If it's my hands, I'll clap them for you. If it's my feet, let them jump praising you. Whatever it is, God, you use it so a word of justice and love might come forward in these moments. This we ask in Jesus' name. Together we say amen. And over with them, we won't have to worry about folks talking about love and justice. We won't have to worry about folks talking about freedom of speech and the right to protest for what is right in our heartbeats as right themselves, they won't have to worry about folks talking about advocating for people to get access to health care who are transgender children. Yeah. Won't have to worry about the need to end lynching as capital punishment. Won't have to worry about these folks out here who talking about ending gun violence, stopping the proliferation of weapons of war on our streets and communities, expanding access to abortion and contraception, ending bad laws like the third grade retention law that penalizes students, not helps them. They thought they wouldn't have to worry. 